Ever since I was a little kid, I've been interested in space exploration. Everything there was to know about it. I didn't know if I wanted to be an astronaut or be an engineer and build satellites or something like that. But I definitely wanted to be involved with it. I came to be older. One question I can remember searching for was when are humans going to step foot on the surface of Mars? And the answer I received was 2025. I don't know if I really believed that back then, but it made a deep impression on my mind. I certainly didn't believe it 15 years ago that that would actually happen. But two years ago, something happened that changed my mind. Elon Musk presented the SpaceX plan to make humans an interplanetary species. And so today, that's what I would like to talk with you about. The SpaceX plan revolves around the rocket known as the Big Falcon rocket, BFR. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that today, but I'm going to release some more details in an upcoming video. The next phase of that starts in 2022. In only a few more years, when he hopes to launch two of these rockets to the surface of Mars. Now, neither one of these will actually be carrying people. They'll do a couple of things. First of all, they'll prove the concept that we can actually land these rockets on the surface of Mars. And secondly, they'll have some very specific missions. They will contain robots that will go around and exploring to try to see what kind of minerals they can find. Specifically, they'll be looking for water. It's one of the big essential things to be able to find. It will contain life support equipment. They'll be able to generate the oxygen and other materials that humans need and be able to test to make sure that everything is working right for a human mission there to follow up. They're also going to test some of the other structural elements to possibly bring some building equipment and just do some basic type of things. But the main goal is find water, build the infrastructure. Every 26 months you can launch a mission to Mars. So the next opportunity to launch will be in 2024. There they're going to send four spacecraft to the surface of Mars. Two of them will be cargo missions like before, but two of them Will contain humans on board where the first humans will actually set foot on the Mars on Mars on the red planet if all goes according to plan now SpaceX's plans are known to be a little bit ambitious but they've held to this date for the last two years so we'll give them a little bit more benefit of the doubt most likely this mission would contain 12 astronauts per BFR rocket BFR rocket is capable of holding hundreds, or at least a hundred, towards this trip, but initially they're going to keep things much smaller. So a dozen per rocket seems a reasonable amount of um, people to carry on the first mission. These rockets will have to stay on the surface of Mars for about 18 months, a year and a half-ish, for them to refuel. It'll take about six to nine months for them to actually get there. Then what are they going to do? Well, the primary purpose of the second mission is to build a propellant depot. I've talked before about the cryogenic fuel problem. When I was looking more into the SpaceX plan to get to Mars, I realized that they have the solution. And their solution is, is to have humans actually build a depot to store the fuel for the return journey home. We've learned in recent weeks, in the last week or two, that in fact humans intend, that SpaceX intends to leave some of the BFRs there on the surface of Mars. Maybe they will take one of them and bury it and use it as a propellant depot for the other ones. Most likely they will only return one of these initial six home and that one will contain humans that will be going back to the surface of Earth. I suspect that they won't actually take all 24 astronauts that I suspect they'll send to Mars on this first mission. But I suspect there will be maybe six of them that will stay behind and keep this little base growing for the next astronauts that will come 26 months after the initial ones landed. I suspect that they might not even know when they launch if they're going to stay, but they'll have the opportunity 
to stay for a longer duration at a later date should they need to, and they should have all the food and supplies they need. Plus, the new mission will arrive on the surface of Mars relatively quickly after the old one leaves. Thus, it seems entirely possible that they could make this happen. That, of course, is a little bit of speculation, but we do know that SpaceX intends to keep sending more and more of these spacecraft after the initial success until they built a colony, which they've shown proposed images of, an architecture of what one of these might look like. And we'll have to find out in the end what this will, will do. It, we don't really know exactly what they're going to end up doing. It seems quite likely that they're going to partner with NASA and probably other entities as well to be able to pull this to reality. We know that while SpaceX has a lot of things they have down really well, they don't have everything down like they would need to. And NASA is strong in a lot of the ways that SpaceX is not. So a um, mixture between the two of these seems quite likely to be able to help this mission to succeed. Thank you very much for joining me. Let me know what your thoughts are on SpaceX's plan to send humans to Mars. And let me know what your thoughts are overall. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care.